All right. Hi guys. How was practice today? Oh, I didn't think it was our best. You know, it, uh, we got a lot of work in and probably got better at some points, but you know, I think it was uh, the first time in camp that I thought we looked a little soft. And uh, that's what I told the team. So we gotta correct that for tomorrow. Given uh, last week and then the fact that you just started, you can really say that this is really the first game or first practice that everything's clicking or? No, I mean, that, that, there, I mean, what happened last week was a long week and it was tragic. It should have no bearing on what today's practice was or is or tomorrow's will be. So, you know, and I, I don't think our, I think our guys just, it was Monday morning, you know, they came a little bit warm and play, I thought we practiced a little soft. But I'll watch the film to confirm that. How are the uh, sent the new center candidates coming along? Mm, it's been the same candidates all along, so they're doing all right. I don't know who's going to start, the starter's going to be, but uh, they're working pretty hard. It's a good group of guys. What do you like about what Sonny's been able to do with his body heading into this year? Well, he's lost weight. He's in great shape. Uh, looks like he's, uh, you know, ready to play, you know, a lot of plays, which I hope they don't have to have any D linemen play, 70 to 80 plays, but Sonny's in good enough shape to do that. What, what kind of defensive lineman are you looking for now in recruiting? Oh, I'd like to have a guy about 6'5", 290, <laughs> runs a 4'6", tough, physical, smart, <laughs> many, athletic. Many of those out there? <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody wants him. Yeah. Now, we got enough to get done, but I'm not, you know, I don't think we're deep enough uh, or big enough yet, and we'll address that in recruiting, but we got good enough guys to win with. We just got to play really hard. What are some of Dane's best traits right now? Who? Dane Kirchink. Well, he's, uh, he's a competitive guy. He's got great size, good athletic ability, and, and uh, he's had a pretty good camp. I don't know who our starting corners are going to be, but uh, we got a lot of get bodies there, more than we've had in the past several years. Was Dane close to playing last year? Probably, particularly special teams. I think he could have helped us on special teams right away, but uh, there was so much to learn that I'm glad we were ready for Is there any update on Zach Benjamin's status? No, I haven't heard anything. It's, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I would like to, we'd like to see Faith and uh, uh, get that moving pretty quickly. Like I said, it seems ridiculous that a guy walks on and, and, uh, and he's not eligible to pay your own way. So, but we'll see. What about Keenan Walker? How about him? Is he reinstated? Not well, he's walking around the field working with strength coaches. He's not practicing right yet. Is he part of the 105 at this point? No, because if he is part of the 105, he'd be practicing. Yeah. When, uh, when did you first recognize that uh, that uh, Jamal Adai might have, you know, coaching DNA? In Probably him? when he played for me as a true freshman in high school at West Virginia. Yeah, that's pretty rare at this level. And so, you know, seeing his uh, ability to process the game, you know, and he's got a great personality, he's a really good recruiter. And uh, he's a, yeah, I thought right away he would, you know, be a really good coach and he's proven to be that. Do you remember what you thought about him as a high school prospect? Yeah, he, he played wing back in a, in a wing T offense, so I didn't know if he could back paddle and play it <laughs> safety. But he was a tough guy, played in a good program, and uh, was really just smart. He just had it. You know what I mean, he has it and comes from a great family, so uh, he's, I've been fortunate to have been around him quite a bit. How did it help uh, Vince Amy to be around the program, especially as a strength coach where you, you know, you work with everybody? Yeah, I think it really did help. One, he knew all the kids. And, uh, you know, he worked with the D-line in the weight room, so he knew you know, quite a bit about them. And he had some experience coaching, but, uh, and he was the first guy, you know, as soon as we had an opening, say, hey, coach, I want to do this. And he kept bugging me, which is okay. I told him to keep bugging me. And uh, he, was, he was persistent. And I, again, I think he's uh, he's got the right kind of personality and, and uh, do a good job for us.